the light looks good here. I think the light looks good here. I don't even need to bring the light. I brought a, a Pavo tube light and I probably didn't even need to bring it, but you just want to stand roughly here. Yep. And I'm going to shoot back that way mm -hmm. and uh, we'll take some snaps. All right. Biggest tip whenever you go out to shoot, tunes. You, you got to create a good vibe, eh? otherwise if you're not having fun, what's the point? Uh, so uh, what's in my camel bag? This. This is in my camel bag. You're probably thinking, Beep, why do you carry a glass in your camel bag? Well, the photos you can get just by using a glass in front of the lens, uh, just like, just about, about like here. It doesn't work on a wide angle. It has to be like a 50 or a 70, 185. But the result you get just using a glass by holding it in front of the lens, mmm, killer. Here, check them out. <laughs> and how cool do they look? Oh, don't, don't fall, V-Pop. That's, that'll be bad. I'm just gonna go all the way around. I'm not gonna climb over anything. I've got too much in my hands. Bring the Pavo tube light. Oh, oh, you know what you needed? Mist filter. Mist filters make everything look better. Do me a favor. Yep. Don't look into the light. All right, no looking into the light. And that will act as fill light, which is amazing. Okay, right. That's a, what did I say? Don't look in the light. Don't look into the light. And the first thing you do, look into the light. What are you, a moth? Babe. Come on, guys. Ah, uh, guys, I just realized this is a video about posing and how to make your poses look better. And I'm here with Jazz and she's, oh, run. she's already a natural, like phenomenal. Like we started shooting, doing some test shots and she just immediately went, yep, yeah, gonna just pose my ass off. And she looks amazing. Like they look amazing. You look amazing. But I just wanted to point out that you, uh, you want to get like the different varieties. So right now we're getting her sitting on this log. Before I had her standing and then we had some crouching. So you want to make sure you get that variety when you're posing and you're doing shoots. I mean, on one hand, you don't want to overshoot and you have too many options, but you want to have a few options. Like, oh, I don't really like how I'm standing there. I don't like how I'm standing. I mean, just Even if it's as simple as turning the body to the other side, looking at the other direction, or as simple as just squatting down or finding a place to sit, having the variety is going to help you tenfold when you're back at home editing the photos, you're going through the photos, you're like, ah, oh, do we have any of these while you're on the other side? The sun's just really harsh in your eyes. So that's uh, tip number one. How was that? That was good. That was really good. <laughs> I would have stuttered so much through that. <laughs> so we, we, I haven't even, it's been like two seconds since I gave that last tip, but another great tip is bring props with you because we just took some photos of Jazz holding my camera and they're coming out phenomenal. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ah. Ah. I'm just excited. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I hope that's going to be good. Again, five years, guys. I've been doing this for five years now. Who, who would have thunk it? If somebody just came out and saw all this, they'd be they're so confused on what's going on. They'd be like, what is happening? I'm like, it's, it's a photo shoot. Leave it, leave it alone. Just, even though. Alright, so we just Jazz just got changed into another outfit and that's uh segues nicely into tip number two. Bring different outfits so you can roll the shoot over. You can roll the shoot over and get different looks in different outfits and you get you get home, you're like, ah, so many good bangers, but I can only post one or like two to Instagram and the rest just sit in a vault waiting for like enough time to pass and people may have forgotten about that last shoot you did and you can post it again and be like, oh, I did another shoot, definitely. You just bring a change of clothes, you've got technically two shoots right there, done and dusted. So that's tip number two, three. Tip number three. Yeah, cool, awesome, let's do it. Excited, but let's see. Just trying different things, see what sticks. That's what photography is about. It's what, what life is about, really. That's something you can take into life. Okay, so Jazz, Jazz, come here, come here. You can describe it. All right, so we're just doing, looking over some photos and we noticed one thing about these. These are great photos. So yeah, flash them on the screen. <laughs> you okay? You can for a tumble. You good? <laughs> uh, if you fall into the camera, I have to save the camera first. It's not mine, Sony lent it to me. That's fair. We're looking over some photos here. I'll flash them on the screen right now. And Jazz brought up this really good point. And what was that point? Yep, so when you're taking photos that involve your face, one way to look a bit more relaxed, a little bit more natural, is instead of having your mouth closed and your smart tight, is open your lips just a little bit. It makes it look more relaxed. I'm sorry, I just really threw you on the spot there. I'm like, all right, Jazz, take it away. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> all right, so you did great. That was good. Oh. Good, good taste. Like, we can leave that in. Um, so yeah, like, what I like to say to people is breathe through your mouth. And people always look at me and they go, huh? 
what do you, you and just, just breathe through your mouth don't, sh don't think about it just think about it at all but just breathe through your mouth and you'll notice that there's a little part in your mouth which is here we'll flash up some photos of the differences side by side i mean again i think they both look good they both have their place but personally i think mouth slightly open is just a little bit nicer just a little bit just a bit all right cool oh almost actually <laughs> fell Glad you're again. Jazz switched off into her third, third outfit. Yeah, outfit. Third outfit for the day. See, just roll them over. All right, so uh, I just want to touch on tip number four. Whatever tip this is, Vpop, put it in. So this tip here uh, is actually just to walk and get movement, and that way you get like shots of people walking in action. It just makes it doesn't have to be that. If you're photographing dancers, get them to do I know some dance pose or do a pirouette and a double backflip and a twist, something like that. That's that's what dancers do, right? Yeah. Yes. Dancers do, but yeah, getting movement shots. So here, a few examples here. Ooh, looking good. I think they're looking good. Haven't looked at the photos yet, but I hope they look good. And that's uh, that's the that's another tip right there. Cool. All right, this what's blasting through this, having fun, having a good day. So not model related, but it's kind of photography related. We've got some nice tall grass here, and I'm going to you know, crouch down, shoot through them, and create a bit of framing around jazz here I'll see if i can demonstrate now like whoop. so we got the framing here with the all, all the shrubbery which is looking good i even just like grab it and just put it into frame and you're oh wish i could just start snapping photos now but it's video all right so this is my favorite song like ever i like the it guitar, so the guitar the guitar solos okay angels and airwaves the adventure mm, tasty all right so just brought up a wonderful point and um, segues quite nicely into tip number five. Who's counting anymore? I'm not, clearly. What do you do with my hands? What do I do with my hands? My hands are so awkward. Okay, so if it's just a torso shot, typically don't need to worry about it. If you're a little awkward about hands, I always suggest putting them in your pocket or if you've got, you know, pockets here, pockets here, or you can, you can hold them. It's weird, but if you just want to hold your hands, hold your hands like yeah you can lean against it you can use your hands as a prop essentially and create more more unique angles more unique looks heck play with your hair guys if you've got like a dress shirt get them to play with the buttons on the shirt girls they can play with the dress play with the hair and that's really like just play play with your hands that sounded that sounded better in my head but <laughs> That's also true, <laughs> so <laughs> we're leaving it in. Final tip I have is let your let your client look at the photos. Like I know a lot of photographers are like, no, never show the photos until they're done, but it helps inspire confidence. It helps them see what you're doing, see what you're seeing, because you know, they might feel awkward. Like you ask them to do all these weird things. Like I oh, need to touch your face, touch your hair, put your leg out a little bit further, put your hand in your pocket, lean back further, further, look up, look down, look off to the side. And that might feel a little, you know, a little weirded out with like, all these instructions. And they're like, oh, well, does this even look good? Does it even look good? And you show them the photos, like just right now, she's just browsing my camera, all the photos, or a lot of the photos. And you know, she, there'll be some that she doesn't like, some that she likes, and but it's, I, I'm hoping it's at least instilling confidence in the client, in your model, in your friend, that you are taking like the best photos you can. And that's, uh, that's what we're out here to do. It's also just, you know, it's, we're here to have fun. We're here to have fun, guys. That's, that's all this is. How's it going? Makes for a better model as well. Oh, well, I think she just looks awesome, but you know, we're all our own worst credits. Exactly. Ugh. When over. shooting in the woods. Take a step over. How are you going? Good. Right, so tip number six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, who's counting, really? I'll probably put flashcards on the screen, so I'm counting. Next tip is angles, uh, shapes. Uh, what does that mean, V-pop? Well, when you're posing somebody, uh, female, male, people look good basically in two directions, straight on and then 45 degrees. And then from here, you can then pose them in different ways when we're creating shapes with your limbs. What does that mean? Well, you'll see by this footage here, I've got jazz making shapes essentially with her arms making her try getting her to make triangles with her arms with her legs when she all her weight on one foot it's all about making these different shapes posing limbs oh, so you're really distracting i'm just like looking in the <laughs> back corner i'm like oh, look at her go it, when, when you are posing um, just create shapes create interesting shapes not all of them are going to be great i'll be honest but the ones that are good mm, those are the ones we're out here to capture <laughs> Uh, so Jazz is just going through some of the photos that we just did, and what did you say? I'm very, very impressed. Ah, oh, thank you, but no, no, running back even a bit further, where one of the poses felt awkward. Yes. 
yeah, it feels very unnatural um, and a little uncomfortable and that made me feel like, oh, it's not gonna look very nice. But you look back at the photos and they look fantastic and strong. And sometimes you just have to put yourself out of your comfort zone. And I think that's like the, the final tip we should uh, leave it on. Put yourself out of your comfort zone, go out, have fun. And uh, on that note, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there. But uh, one final bonus tip, not relating to photography, not relating to modeling, but it's just to just go out, ask, put yourself out there, get yourself out of the comfort zone. If you have never met me before today, like, yeah, this is the first time meeting. I saw her photos on Instagram, went, these are really good photos, but I know I can do better, but I want to take my own photos with her. And so I just reached out and I was like, hi. Yeah. And she went back and said, hi. And now we're, now we're here and we're hanging out, we're having fun, taking photos, and we're having a good time. So, Absolutely. Uh, that's the final tip for the day, guys. And I hope you learned something from this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you, see you in the next one. This is this is what a good role for videos, V-pop. Let's keep it up. <laughs>